I've got uh, stenosis and uh, degradation of the spine. Um, I've got uh, nerve damage in my left leg. I've had a stroke in 2014 and I had a heart attack and a stent put in in 2010 and just recently diagnosed with depression. I take 32 tablets a day and th that's it, all of them basically. Um, so I feel like a rattle at times. Um, but it keeps me going, keeps me alive. Um, and uh, I suppose, you know, it's the, uh, it's got to be done if I want to kind of have a modicum of, of norm normality in my life. Now I've got multiple conditions, um, I can't work. Um, I wish I could. Um, from going from like seven, eight, nine hundred pounds a week to uh, about hundred pounds a week, if I'm lucky, um, is a hell of a change. Which I think has also affected my, my mental health as well, to be honest. But, um... When I kind of just go through periods of time where I just become so anxious about kind of getting complications from diabetes um, and if my blood sugar isn't like perfect that day it will just spark this like anxiety like attack within me just thinking that I need to get my control back um, and just like I just have down days really thinking that essentially like my life expectancy isn't as long as everybody else is um, what's going to happen in the future like am I going to be able to have kids and if I do like am I going to pass it on to them and kind of just a bit of like impending doom about the future essentially um, so again it's just like up and down days but I've learned um, just like from speaking to other people that everyone kind of goes through that. One condition is affected by another so my irritable bowel syndrome is affected by stress and the stress um, um, can induce psychosis so it all comes up at the same time so it's physical and mental you know I, you know when I have psychosis I have pains in my stomach and I have um, or when I'm stressed I have pains in my stomach and I feel like my head is gonna burst because of the, the negative thoughts that are just roaming around in there. Heart has saved my life. When I had a massive breakdown after an overdose, I just started painting um, automatically. It just, and then after that, I, I went to do a foundation and then I did a master's. All this come, came from my breakdown. Art has been therapeutic for me um, um, without the art during my illness, I don't know what would have happened to me. Prior to this situation, this place that I'm in in my life at the moment, um, I'm, I'm an international training consultant, so I work different areas of the world and I like that broad remit. And then becoming ill, it levelled everything because it took away all of, all of what that was, right? So I lost my health, obviously. I was in hospital for over six months. Um, I lost my house because and you can't pay your bills, yeah, you, you lose things. I mean, I suppose some of the motivation behind going to Aqua or going to Tai Chi or whatever is about the strengthening so that I can get my body back fully the way I'd like it. Some of the self-management takes away the fear then because I've looked after it of then being able to step into the world that I'd like to step into because I know I've got it covered. That knowledge, understanding enables you to make informed decisions which then enable you to achieve goals outside of your health issues almost like health issues can keep you in prison you know but but the lock to do that to opening that door is an understanding of what you need to do to manage it so that you can live a life that looks like what you want it to look like